So I'm trying to go to a new camera angle and a new helmet. So everything should be a little bit more quieter. It's got a face shield and everything. I, can you see it in the mirror? I can't see it. <sighs> oh well. My video should be less wind noisy. I can actually hear myself think. And this is actually a snowmobile helmet. And it came with a whole bunch of different provisions for it that I am going to start taking advantage of. And one of those is it's got pockets in the cheek pads for a headset. So I'm going to sell off my old Euclear, which was made for open face helmets. It will work in a full face. It was just made for open faces. And I'm going to get a Cena. First of all, more people use Cena. Second of all, it's... Oh, holy shit, I can actually hear my bike. That, that's, that's special. That's a moment right there on video. But uh, yeah, it's made for... Where was I? Shit. Okay. Um. All right, all right. It's made for open face helmets, but it can be used in a closed face. It's called the Euclear. I originally got it because it's super like clear for your voice, but I didn't realize that so many more people were using the Cenas, and not very many people are taking advantage of the feature of the Euclear, which is basically unlimited range. Because every person that gets added to the call at it like piggybacks the other signal so each person you add you can go 700 meters away as long as the middle guy is so let's say you have three people the middle guy stays directly in the middle the whole time two people could be over a kilometer away from each other and still talk to each other assuming they're in line of sight because Euclid's work on a line of sight system. I looked at the angle on this helmet by the way and it's kind of angled down so you might be able to see the bike and shit but when I do this it's perfectly clear all you're getting is all this nature for sure I know that much and I'm hoping it brings a little bit better of an experience to my videos in terms of feeling like you're with me and not just along for a ride on the side of a helmet. Uh, I know Walt Terrific uses this helmet mount and I'm going at you know, a little over 100 right now just to see. Yeah, it, this helmet's not really that loud. I love my bike. Pop, 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 pop. Whoa, that was close. And that popping is pretty much because DRs come extremely lean from the factory now, just to be able to meet emission standards. You get a little bit of backfiring. Uh, granted, the CV carbon it doesn't really help because when you look over the throttle, it just bit. there we go. No more fuel. But it keeps the vacuum slide open a little bit as the engine speeds down or slows down. You're, so you're literally just not putting fuel in the bike. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So what I did to mic up this helmet, it's a, I'll show a picture of it. It's a G-Max GM110S or something like that. Or GM11S. I don't know. It's basically actually a snowmobile helmet, but... You can convert it for use in the summer as a dual sport helmet. It's not at all too cold. Or too hot. So just to give you a difference, it's going 90 right now. That should be pretty loud. So when I close it, it comes back to like a reasonable volume level because it might you should be able to hear because the microphone's on that side of course it's nestled inside the cheek pad so it might be taking away some of the sound but it's not that big of a deal you can kind of feel the helmet camera up on top of the helmet a little bit but it's not too bad I thought that was custom paint on that ranger or trailblazer for a second there 
like you did like a barbed wire thing around the plastic. No, it's just rust. It's kind of funny. Right, I'm gonna get gas and look at the footage to see how it looks. I'm guessing that pump is closed, so I'll be back after I fill up.